that's how you, you consume most the water, flushing the toilet. And I remember a workshop that I went, it's like, how many times do you flush the toilet? What, what, what question is that? You flush it a line, that's how increasing more and more and you pay more money. So you take the water that you're saving from the laundry when you wash the dishes. When you take a bath, you use the little bucket and you just put it in the, in the toilet. Some places still now, they live in the mountains and they don't have uh, pipes. the pipes, they don't have that. So they, they have to that. collect rainwater. Yeah, they too. have. And some places they don't have rain. And this is still today. Today now. And wow. people are dying because they don't have any water. There's a company organization that create big tank and then you send money to them and they take this water to these people because over there is very, very, very hot all year around. So people are contributing to and make sure everybody's getting that, water. That people gets water. But sometimes it takes like three, four hours to get there. When the emergency, they die because if you don't drink water, what do you do? Hello, Earth Managers. My name is Courtney and welcome to EMTV. Today, I'm here with Grecia Herrera to ask her about the water situation in Colombia and some simple things that we can do here at home to be more conscious of our water usage. Welcome, Grecia. Thank you very much. Thank you for inviting me. This is a great topic. I live in Colombia, in Bogota, the capital. The water is very different in every place because geographically, it's very different in all Colombia. What is happening now is that we do get water, but because of the pollution and climate change, is really affecting how we receive it at home. For example, I have to use a filter. When I wake up, sometimes I don't have the water because there may be something, a pipe broke, or they're doing maintenance in the tanks. Sometimes they don't let you know. You become more conscious of how precious is water. Because when you get up, the first thing you do is either drink water or brush your teeth or take a shower. Think about waking up and there being no running water. Mm -hmm how that would change your perspective on how you conserve water and reuse water. We're so privileged that we have water. It makes mm -hmm. me feel actually so grateful that I wake up to running water every day. What are some of the things that you do daily to conserve or to reuse water? When I'm brushing my teeth, I don't let the water run. I'm very aware of that. When I'm taking a shower, especially when I'm washing my hair, close the faucet, wash your hair, and then you open your the faucet. It's mainly not letting the water run. But I, I do this not even thinking about it. I no matter where you are now. No you matter do it. where I am, I do I do that. And also when I'm washing the dishes, I have two buckets, one for uh, soap and one for clean water. Washing and rinse it and the water that I rinse, I use it for the toilet. When I wash the clothes, the washing machine, there's a way that I can be able to take the uh, the water hose that, that, that they have. And you take it out and you put it in on a, a big bucket. And you just use it for cleaning the apartment or, or flushing the toilet. So you usually will use water at least twice. You use it for washing dishes and then you'll use it for the toilet. Different times I use the water. I do have buckets in the kitchen. I have two bathrooms, so I have two buckets each bathroom. No fancy technology. No just technology. You just need buckets. <laughs> <laughs> I did this experiment because the water, as you know, is so so expensive. I tried to compare how much water I use recycling the water. So it went to half of the uh, my bill. So you reduced your water yeah. bill by half. By half. By reusing water. By reusing water. That's amazing. It does work, but it takes time. And, and it takes a, an effort in creating a habit. Sounds like some creativity too. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what would you suggest to us living here in America? What are some simple things that we can do to be more conscious of the water that we're using? The first thing I, I would say is to create a habit. We are always creating habits every single day. I want to get healthy and I want to lose weight. There are many different things. So now let's create a habit on how we're using the water. Something that we really need to start being more conscious of water because water is so important to have. We don't do something about it right now. It's not going to. It comes to a crisis. We are already seeing it because of the change of climate. So let's not wait and create a habit. You get up and wash your face or you brush your teeth or close the faucet. Don't let the water run. So maybe that's the main thing is don't let the water run. Don't let the water run. I think yeah. that's the key. And maybe we can help remind ourselves by having the earth in mind when we make those decisions. The fact that we want to protect the earth, the fact that we don't want to waste water, mm -hmm. we can use that as a reminder to help build those those habits. Not only like me, when I'm brushing my teeth, I'm thinking about the earth. 
not only me. And it's responsibility too, mm -hmm. right? I can make these changes. The little things that I can do do make a difference to help protect the earth. And that's the goal. Being grateful for what the water that we do have, the water that the earth provides us, I think that's key. Mi nombre es Fresia Herrera y yo soy representante de la tierra. Yay.